Praise God. Praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed night tonight. So basically, I wanted to get up on here and let you know how important it is not only to fast and to pray, but how you have to be clear so you can hear the instructions of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you don't know these two questions, then you have a problem. Point blank in the story. Because in this hour, let me tell y'all something. I got to work this thing out. God is realigning his body of Christ. God is putting everything back in order. But it's two questions that are so imperative that you know, that you know, that you know. Number one, do you know what your assignment is? If you don't know what your assignment is, now is the time to fast, pray, ask God for clarification, confirmation, and revelation. Point blank in the story because you need to know what is your assignment. That's something you need to, what are you doing here? Why are you on earth? Not just to get a job, not just to make money, not just to have a business. No, no, no. You have an assignment. What is your assignment? What is God telling you to do? Come on, somebody. That's the first question. The second question is, what is the assignment against you? See, I, I, I know them demons don't like me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I know when people are. Y'all know. I ain't going to go here all the way tonight. But I know who's against me and what is against me. And it's not in my mind because let me tell you something. God will wake me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Watch this one. Watch that one. They not real. They not right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And then point blank, he'll let you know who's on your side. This one mean you're good. Come on, somebody. So you got to have much clarification and prophetic revelation. And hold on, you got to be a prophet. Uh-uh. It is time to have a relationship with God so deep that you know who, when, what, and even why, if he want to tell you. Hallelujah. So let's revisit those two questions again. What is your assignment? Your assignment is not just to get married. Your assignment is not just to have a house, a car, and, and, and to be balling. You have an assignment, and most of the time it's to a people and a place. God will put you in a certain place for you to minister. Because in this last hour, he said, the laborers is few, but the harvest is ripe. God needs people in this hour like never before. God is actually shifting people from the Pharaoh system to the spiritual system, the kingdom of God. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. There's a transfer. Y'all know I don't talk about money like that, but I'm about to start because I'm telling you what God said. God said revival coming. And so there's a transfer of wealth. And in order for it to be a transfer of wealth, you have to be in your position. You see, opposition tries to move you out of position. Transition tries to move you out of position. But God said, I need you to stay in position. I need you to get in position. I need you to know your position. I need you to know your assignment. So those two things that are imperative, and, and you got to ask God. And, and, and how you find out the revelation is by fasting and praying. So you can get clarification and confirmation. So the two questions again is, what is your assignment on earth? Because you have an assignment. And it's most of the time it's to a people and a place. What is the assignment against you? Because I guarantee you, Demonic entities, when you real, they are always signed against you to try to distract you, to try to destroy you. Come on, somebody. There it goes. The Bible says that you you have an enemy, the devil, as a seeking lion, roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. This stuff is real. It's not playing. And I'm not saying that to be in fear, but that's to walk in faith and boldness. But you have to see yourself as God see you because the enemy, let me tell you something, and, and this is so real. You need to stay away from people that break your spirit that try to put you down and everything else because God is trying to build you up in faith because faith and confidence go hand in hand so you can do the work of the Lord, so you can do your assignment, so you can prosper in it, so you can be um, positive in it as well. God wants you to have a positive mindset. God wants you to know that I'm with you. I'll never forsake you. I'll never leave you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is all powerful, all by himself. I don't care what the enemy is doing to you. I don't know who this is for, but I'm encouraging you. I don't care what the enemy has done to you or is trying to do you. He cannot stop you. He cannot block you. He cannot hinder you because God is with you. And hold on, even if God allows something. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Romans 8, 28 says, the good and the bad work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So even if God allows something, it's all right. I trust him. When I can't trace him, I trust him when I can't feel him. I trust him when I can't see him. I trust him. Hallelujah to his name. 
we got to position ourselves to get into the posture that God wants us to in this hour. What is the posture? Fasting, praying, forgiving. I'm appalled, and I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm appalled by the Christians that I'm going to tonight. Y'all got some stuff in y'all heart. Y'all can preach, y'all can teach. And I'm not talking about just one particular person. I'm talking about a lot of people I know. And God hate in your heart like you. And you can see it. Got offense in your heart. Got hate in your heart. Got anger in your, heat, in your heart. There is no way God going to heavily anoint you. You could preach, teach, reach, whatever. The heavy anointed people, they have a foundation of love. They don't know how to forgive and forget. They have to be clear to hear. Because you don't know when God going to shift and use you. You don't know when God going to tell you to minister. And if you got all that in your heart, how you going to minister to somebody? You can't even deliver yourself. How you going to deliver somebody with all that stuff in your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit? Every day, God will tell you, examine thyself. And that's when you, you say, Lord, I repent. I repent of every thought, every word, every deed, everything that is not of you, God. Creating me a clean heart. Cleanse me. Purify me, God. And don't take the Holy Spirit from me. Hallelujah. We got too much of the world in us, in short. I say it all, let to say that. We got too much of the world in us. So in this hour, God is, God is cleansing us. Judgment begins in the house of God. Judgment is in the house of God. And God is realigning everything. Order is coming back now. And nobody can stop it. And you will get exposed sooner or later if you perpetrate it. Point blank in the story. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. So I just want to get up on here real quick and just tell you to be encouraged. But do this thing God's way. Hallelujah. And if you can't answer those two questions that's on that title, then you, you need to go to God for real. You need to go on a whole fast. Not a half a fast, but a whole fast. I'm just being real with you. I forgot something, and I don't mind, because I'm transparent on purpose, and ain't nobody going to ever take that away from me. And people get mad at me, people don't like me, people say stuff. I don't care about what y'all be saying. Straight up, because I'm going to be authentic. Because when I get before God in judgment, I'm going to be clean and clear. I said it the way he told me to say it. I did it the way he told me to do it. And he told me to be honest. Hallelujah. We don't always get it right, leaders. But when we do get it right, we're supposed to tell y'all so y'all can get it right. I realize that a life of fasting is what every leader should be living. If you're not fasting on a, a, a constant basis, then you're missing it. Because, and I'm going to prove it. God says, those that worship me, must worship me in spirit and in truth. So we full of the world and acting silly. We can't really even, we can't even understand what God is saying. So he says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. When you walking in the spirit, especially when you're fasting, then you can hear the truth. That's why so many people are deceived in this hour. So many people walking in a different spirit. Honestly, most of the incarnality and flesh. And then some people say, well, it can't be done. Yes, it can. Every morning you get up. And I told y'all this, and I reiterate it on purpose over and over. God, thank you for waking me up. And then get in that word. Even if it's audio and you're getting ready for work, whatever the case may be. Get that word in, in the morning. It, it, it'll set the tone throughout the day. And ask God, God, what am I supposed to do today? Keep me, God. Pray over your family. Pray over your friends. Y'all wonder why sometimes y'all have a bad day. Because y'all didn't start it off with prayer. And you didn't seal yourself. You didn't draw that bloodline. You didn't ask God to protect you and keep you throughout the whole day, even your mind. At the end of the day, some of y'all go to bed looking at TV and stuff. And you wonder why you, you're off the next morning or whatever the case may be. And what I mean by that is by your spirit being off. That's because you didn't seal yourself at night. Go to bed at night with that word. That word cleanses you. That word sanctifies you. That word purifies you. That word aligns you. That stuff real. And it's time for us to get aligned. The world is out of order because the church is out of order. Hallelujah. So I'm going to get up off of here. I'm going to tell you whatever, whatever, all, all what God has told me to say. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I, I'm telling you right now. And I'm going to end it with this.
God knows what he's doing. He knows where you're at, so you're not missing it. And that's for you, for most of you that think you've missed it. And for some reason, everybody is like on this time thing. God say, I am time. You did not miss it. You're right where you're supposed to be. Quit letting the devil mess with your mind. Making you think you're not going to get it. You're not going to achieve it. Everybody's opinion does not matter. And the only time it matters, let me tell you when it matters. Who can hurt you? A person that you admire. A person that you really think is, you know, is a wonderful, let's say, mentor. Or somebody that's actually just anointed and appointed. But even they can let you down. You have to love you. You have to see how God sees you. What God sees. Ask God, God, show me what you see. Because I'm telling you right now, if you put a list of what you want, how you want it, and God tell you what he has for you, that's two different lists. God has better for you. You got to see it. You got to want it. But I'm going to tell you what's the underlying thing of all. <clears throat> you have to walk in obedience. Most people don't want to walk in obedience. You have to. You can't. There is no way. Thank you, Lord. Cain and Abel. So, as you know, Cain killed Abel. All because Abel gave God exactly what he wanted and what he desired and what he asked for. Cain just kind of, here God. God's like, I don't reject that. That's the same thing happening in the day. Most people want to be a Cain spirit. You can't just give God anything and think God going to bless you and everything going to be cool. The devil is a lie. That's not going to happen like that. You got to walk in obedience and then you will get the fruits of obedience. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Be encouraged because so many things are happening. Don't get discouraged in this hour, but you have to be clear to hear. Don't hold people on your heart. Forgive people. Even when they, even, let me tell you something. And I'm going here. And God put it on my heart to reach out to anybody. Honey, I don't care how you feel. I'm going to do what God tell me to do. If God tell me to do this or that or that, you can't sway me. You can't make me feel no kind of way. What am I saying? Forgive people if not for, it's not just for them, but mostly for you. Because God is trying to make it to where you have a good conscience. You can hear him. It, it, it's too cloudy up in here. That's what I'm really saying tonight. Y'all got too much stuff on your heart and your spirit and your mind. And y'all hold people captive and y'all hold people, hold things. You got to ask God, thank you, Lord, I hear you. There's a great healing and deliverance that must go forth in this land. People are hurting from stuff that happened when they was a child. I just got that from God just now. You haven't even been healed and delivered from stuff that happened when you was a child, when you was in high school. What happened with mother? What happened with father? What happened with this one? What this one did you? What this one didn't do you? And it may be all true, but honey, you got to get healed and delivered before you can really go through and really be blessed. God can't bless no mess. You got too much stuff on your heart, God says. Give it to him. Quit holding people captive. Quit being in bondage. There it is right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you and God keep you. And I just pray that you are healed and delivered by the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of God is still real. The blood of Jesus is still real. It's still real. It's still real. It's still real, the power. Hallelujah. Because it's the blood that started all this thing. And it's the blood that's going to end this thing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God, keep you on know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.